Select kitchen items for living local, provided by The Rachel Ray Show. We're back inside our Louisiana Home Center kitchen, and it's that time of year for pumpkin everything, especially everything. in the kitchen. So today we have our friend Buen Day with Food Bank of Northwest Louisiana back in our kitchen to share with us some delicious pumpkin recipes. Gwen, you've pumpkin got a recipes. lot of pumpkin I happening today. i got a lot today. going on here today. <laughs> um, tell us I'll, what's happening. I'll tell you. First of all, we're going to make a pumpkin smoothie. Okay. I'm going to get that done so you can taste it, enjoy it, and then I'm going to show you how you can make your own pumpkin puree okay so tell me what you're putting in right here. now we're putting some uh, uh, put some pumpkin puree that I made oh okay and then some maple syrup mm -hmm. a whole frozen banana I love banana and I've never had a pumpkin some smoothie yolk. I know so you're gonna be should surprised. I be surprised is this gonna be delicious I was surprised that was yogurt a <laughs> cup of yogurt and then uh, I use a nut milk you can use regular milk however you'd like to do it. Okay. And so what we're going to do here is... We've got to mix it all up for you guys. We are going to mix it. Well, we maybe, are Maybe, maybe not. Oh, there we go. All right, and then... <laughs> An easy peasy. Well, that blended really well. I need one of these let's, at home. Let's hope. Uh, <laughs> because mine is honestly <laughs> does not work this well. Okay. Uh, are you going to try it first? Yes, and I am so excited. Okay, here we go. All right. All right, Gwen, don't let me down here. All right. Cheers. Oh, it's really good. Okay. It is. I'm not disappointed. And this here's is very the thing. good. As you can add whatever you need, more pumpkin spice, more. That is a little thick for what mine. You know we love pumpkin spice. Pump, everybody loves pumpkin spice. All right, Gwen, what else do you have for so us? So what we're going to do today is show you how to do that. Okay. Um, same thing with the before when we were here with the squash. We're going to mm -hmm. take out all the seeds. Fun fact, you can roast those seeds right here. There's some with salt I roasted okay. the other night. And so you just do that. Put it on a pan, put it in the oven. And there and we go, it's voila. what we have right now. <laughs> and the cool thing is how easy this <gasps> is to just peel off. You're always you doing magic with these pumpkins. It's just magic, I'm telling you. It just peels right off of there. And then you would put it in after it peeled off, which mm -hmm. is not happening as easy as I'd like. <laughs> what else would happen is you put it in here, get a fork, or a blender, yeah. mash it up, and it comes out just like that's all that is. I cooked pumpkins, took it from there to there, mash it up, yeah, and then you puree. And that's and all so good then, to go. Also, the good thing about this is you can freeze it, so you can get all the pumpkins here at pumpkin season, bake them all, mash them up, make your puree, put them in the freezer, and come May, you're having a pumpkin spice yeah. fix. Yeah. Get it out of the freezer and well, make that it up. is a great idea, Gwen. And make what do we have over here? Because my mouth pumpkin, is watering. <laughs> this is a pumpkin cake. Okay. I will be honest, and I'm not much of a baker, <laughs> uh, so I did this the easy way, and it's a cake mix with pumpkin puree in it. Okay. With different spices. Mm -hmm. I like pumpkin spice. I'm not a, a big strong spice, so this is kind of a got a mild flavor. Of course, again, you can add. Uh, different spices to it. All right, I'm going to try more spices to it. We got to save some for Josh. He's going to be back here in <laughs> just a second, so we can't eat the whole thing yet. Gwen, I know that we're always trying to incorporate more vegetables into our diets, and what a perfect time to do it right exactly. here. It's fall time. You can make pumpkin everything. Everything, and if you want the spice, you can add it. If you just need it for nutrition, just put it in there. Mm -hmm. Pancake mix. Put it in the pancake mix do up the pancakes the kids don't even know it did you make that I did make that you said you weren't the best baker you my friend lied to me because that <laughs> is delicious seriously that is so good I'm glad you like props it. to you like Gwen it. yeah and the it. smoothie is a very good you're gonna be able to find all of these recipes on arclitexhomepage.com make sure you look for this segment on the website you're gonna be able to find everything we made today with our friend Gwen yes 
Absolutely. Gwen, thank you so much. You brought all the pumpkin goodness to our pumpkin kitchen today. Goodness. We sure appreciate you. And we're going to send it back over to Josh for one more look at our forecast. Josh, what's up? Yeah, Gwen, I thought you ripped that pumpkin in half with your bare hands. I didn't see. I looked up at the wrong time. It looked like you just pulled the thing apart. That was well, pretty yeah, amazing. Well, something we're, else I was going to tell you all that I could do. Yeah, we're going to stick with that. Uh, temperatures this weekend, Sunday's looking great. There is the potential we may have a little rain early Saturday, but I do think it's going to turn into a pretty nice weekend as we'll have highs in the upper 60s and low 70s. Again, the rain this week uh, will return Thursday into Friday, so it could have a few thunderstorms there. Pretty big cool down Friday. We actually have highs in the 50s in some areas uh, as we move through the day Friday. Doesn't look like we'll see the same kind of severe weather threat that we saw this morning, but uh, again, it is that time of the year. We'll have to pay close attention to that, uh, especially with the warm temperatures on Thursday ahead of that next cold front. But the next few days will be amazing. Lots of sunshine tomorrow and once again as we go through the day on Wednesday. So pretty nice start to the week after the storms we had this morning. Thank you, Josh. Please grab a piece of that and the eat cake. it. Okay. <laughs> because it is seriously so delicious and I want to see your face. Please tell good. Gwen to keep baking. You keep are, baking yeah, keep going. And keep bringing it over I'll here. Guys, baking. everyone at home, thank you for hanging out with us right here on Loving Living Local. We hope you have a magnificent Monday. We're going to see you tomorrow. Gwen, thanks again. Thank you, Gwen. This is delicious, my friend.